Hey guys, and welcome back to another Random Distractions home theater update. And on this one, we're gonna be talking about Dolby Surround Sound Processing. Uh, this is actually from a comment that I received in one of the previous videos uh, from uh, Mr. Dante Tenno. Uh, he was asking if I might be able to test those these modes out uh, that the Anthem receiver can do, uh, specifically movie mode, because uh, he had heard that that's the one that seems to be the most popular or the, uh, the one that everybody recommends. And he also sent me a link to a document uh, from JBL Synthesis uh, that kind of talks a little bit about the modes. And I did write down some notes on here, so I, I'm gonna take a look here real quick and see. One of the things that the document mentioned was what the actual modes did for, because uh, I hadn't heard of these uh, modes, but it is something that is available not only in the Anthem receiver, but other, other receivers as well. Um, so if you have a receiver, you may have these options uh, too. So it, it talks about movie mode, which is dialogue enhancement and heightened surround levels for movies. Uh, music mode, which is intelligent equalization and real-time processing for music. And then night mode, which is dynamic range control and dialogue enhancement for night. So it's important to note that I currently use my Xbox One as my main media device uh, connected to the uh, television and to the receiver. Um, uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm you know, I don't have a lot of money, so I, I know that there's stuff out there that you can get that's much better uh, than, than that, uh, but that's kind of what I have right now. And, and one of the things that the Xbox allows you to do is to go into the sound options and choose uh, different modes. And up until this point, I've been using DTS mode. And so when I watch movies and stuff, uh, I've noticed that it usually defaults to like DTS Neural X. Uh, for the sound and it's been sounding great so I've, I've kind of enjoyed it um, although after doing some tests on these I I'm actually am gonna make a little switch so we'll see how that goes but I just wanted to mention that uh, as well and so based on the descriptions of the actual modes it kind of almost sounded like you need those were for like lower listening uh, levels uh, or lower volumes on the receiver so what I decided to do was to test it out at negative 70 negative 60 and negative 35 um, so those were the receiver uh, levels that I had set on the anthem when I was doing those uh, tests um, the other important thing to note is that at negative 60 and 70, my subs did not kick in uh, at those levels. So these were just, you know, the front left and um, center and then the surround speakers uh, since it wasn't activating the, the subs. Although I did switch over to uh, 35 um, afterwards and then went back down to the negative 60 and 70 to see if there was a difference. And, and there actually uh, was, which I'll mention uh, here in a sec. So for testing purposes, I decided to go to Netflix and pull up Our Planet. And the episode that I was on was The High Seas. And I figured that that was probably going to be a good one since it, you know, it has a narration uh, by David At Attenborough. Um, so that you had the vocals and then of course there's all the sounds of like nature and things like that and they also ha usually have music that accompanies that um, so I thought that that would be a good mix of um, you know sound and, and stuff for testing these um, I also listened to a couple of music tracks as well just to see if there was any difference uh, there especially since there's a music mode uh, and see what that's like so those were kind of or that's what I used to to test it out all right, so at negative 70 uh, in off mode, the one thing I noticed is that everything, everything seemed pretty even, um, although I could hear uh, sound effects uh, maybe a little bit more, uh, especially in the surrounds and stuff like that. Um, so that was one thing I noticed. When I switched over to movie mode, everything just got louder, like, uh, you know, the vocals uh, were, were a lot louder, uh, so it was a, a little bit easier to hear the vocals uh, on that, uh, but also, like, the surround sound uh, were more audible as well. Uh, switching over to music mode, it actually um, felt like the front stage was a lot more powerful. So the front left um, were louder and I could definitely hear that, you know, separation between left and right from the front. And then in night mode, uh, it got softer again, except that the vocals were still, you know, audible as well. Um, so that, that was, that's definitely, you know, the, it claims that night mode is good for uh, watching at night and still being able to hear voices and stuff. So that, that is definitely true. And at negative 60, um, almost kind of the same thing. So 
Uh, on off mode, everything was pretty even. Um, nothing really stood out, um, and you know it sounded fairly even. Even um, vocals were a little bit easier to hear at this level than compared to 70, uh, but that's obviously just because it got louder. Switching over to movie mode uh, again, uh, it bumped everything up again, um, and so voc and vocals especially were bumped up a little bit more, so it was a lot easier to hear. Uh, for that. And then the one thing I noticed, uh, and this was actually from after I went to 35 and activated the subs and then came back down to 60, is that bass is a little bit stronger uh, than off uh, for sure. So, and actually a little bit stronger than music or night mode as well. And then in music mode, uh, again, kind of the same thing where the front stage um, definitely, you know, rose up and you could tell, uh, you know, when stuff was happening on, on the left side or the right side. Um, and then especially during music, uh, this was really uh, apparent and, you know, you could hear it. So the front stage really took uh, precedence uh, when you switched over to music mode. And then in night mode, um, again, the um, voices were, were still audible and everything else kind of toned down a little bit, uh, although the bass was also kind of strong in this one. And then, of course, I did it at negative 35. And so for off, again, uh, everything was pretty even. Uh, nothing really stood out uh, as far as uh, sound uh, or where it's coming from. Um, so everything stayed pretty even. Uh, switching over to movie mode again just really ramped everything up um, so it was it was really cool um, the one thing that I started to notice at this volume level is that uh, bass was really strong and like uh, but in a good way uh, it was uh, you know you could actually start feeling it in addition to hearing it uh, so that was actually pretty cool uh, then when I switched over to music, uh, again, everything just kind of felt like it moved over to the front. And so you started hearing left and right, um, you know, sounds a lot better uh, and things like that. So, and, and for sure, it, when you're listening to music, switching over to music mode is, is definitely a lot of fun uh, as well. Then in night mode, uh, the one thing that I started to notice at this volume, this volume level is that the bass was starting to be a little bit louder. Uh, than what the vocals were. Um, and so to kind of test that out, I rose, raised the volume up to like negative 20. Um, and for sure the bass was starting to like really be more overpowering and this time not in a good way because it started to muddle everything else because it seemed to be like, uh, you know, overcompensating uh, on the bass there. Um, so it, it's definitely, you know, based on the name and what it's supposed to be able to do, it sounds like, yeah, for sure, you want to use that mode only when you're listening to at lower volumes uh, because the bass will, will still be there, uh, but vocals will, will still be audible uh, and some of the other stuff will be a little bit less toned down. Uh, and, but, you know, uh, it's a good balance, I guess, at the lower volume. Uh, so definitely would recommend that for lower volume listening. So that's kind of the test. Uh, again, one thing that I want to always mention is that I am not a pro uh, and I'm actually fairly new to a lot of these things. Like I've heard of some of these things before, uh, but I've never actually been able to uh, test them out uh, with a receiver that is able to do like all these different things um, and actually provides you with like some other stuff uh, like the microphone and all that good stuff uh, for measuring and, and things like that. So uh, it's definitely uh, been really interesting and I've learned a lot from the people that have left comments uh, like Mr. Dante. Uh, hopefully this will provide some insight or, or or um, at least provide you know my opinion on what I was able to hear when I was listening to different modes um, and actually based on that um, I'm gonna be switching over uh, my settings on my Xbox I went ahead and switched it over to Dolby Atmos uh, that's another option that I can pick uh, in addition to Dolby surround uh, DTS and can't remember the other one but uh, I went ahead and switched it over to Dolby Atmos and turned on a movie mode. And since I've been listening to DTS this whole time, I think I have a kind of a good idea of what it used to sound like. And then um, I'll try it out and see what it sounds like uh, the next uh, couple of weeks and, and see what uh, Dolby Atmos in movie mode sounds like instead. Because uh, like I said, when I turned it up to the negative 35, the bass just sounded really good and, and was kind of like starting to feel, feel it in my chest 
podcast in addition to being able to hear it uh, as well. Well, that's all I have uh, for this video. Uh, thanks again for joining me on this one. I uh, would definitely appreciate a like and of course uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next one drops. Uh, definitely appreciate all the comments. If you have anything else that you would like me to try, um, maybe I'll get to try something else that uh, will make the system sound even better um, like Mr. Dante uh, suggested here. So um, until then, I hope you have a good one.